Hi, uh, welcome to the Azure BFC Sharp video series. I'm Adel Angela, and in this video, I'd like to show you how you can query an Azure table using C Sharp. Here I have a console application, and I'm already referencing a storage account, creating the Cloud Table client, and getting a reference to a table called Scores. And what I want to do, I want to be able to retrieve a single entity from the table storage, and also want to try to query the table to, to retrieve a, a list of entities. Uh, let me show you very quickly the data that is in the Azure Storage Explorer. I can show you here. And I have uh, pretty much um, a list of uh, uh, entities, and each entity is a partition key. This is the name of a game. The row key is the username, and a, and a, and a column, uh, called a property called top score that contains the top score of the particular user. Let me try to retrieve Snake Andrea as an entity. In Visual Studio, I have a score entity class defined that is inheriting, that's basically inheriting from the table entity that is required to be able to use table, uh, table storage, and it's basically defined these three properties. Uh, let me try to retrieve this uh, entity. So what I want to do is use course table dot uh, execute, and I want to execute a table operation. Oops, uh, and I want to retrieve of a score entity. I need to provide the partition key, snake, and the row key, Andrea. So what, what I'm getting back, there is what I'm getting is, let me call it a result for now, it's, it's a table result, right? Let me call it table result. Then, table result contains a result that is an object. It's a bit odd. Uh, unfortunately, we need to cast this object into, into the object, the specific object we, we want to use. And it is quite odd. But this is actually how you can use this API. Let me, da, let me now print this score entity and see if this works. I'm getting snake under 1111. Okay? This is how you can actually do a uh, uh, what is called point query, that's actually retrieving a single entity from a table storage. Let's not do uh, something a bit more complex. I want to get all the uh, top scores greater than 1,000 for a particular game, Pac-Man in this case. Let's try that. I want to get the top scores. And uh, the way to do it, I have to use the method create query, still providing the particular type I want. In this case, I get an iQueryable of score entity, so I can use link you know, to do the query. That is a bit nicer API. Partition key equals uh, Pac-Man. And I can say also end x dot top scores between a thousand, for example. Right? So I'm actually using link you know, to do that. And then let me try to print this, these results. Uh, top scores, top score. Let's see if it works. Yeah, we get Pacman Alex and Mike. If you see in the data, Alex and Mike as a score is greater than a thousand, while Bob is not shown because the score is not greater than a thousand. Actually, the query works. And this is basically how you can use uh, the C Sharp API in order to query a table storage. There are very strong limitations in what you can do with using the link um, API here. You can only do where, take, first, or select. Uh, and this is pretty much it. Um, I'd like to point you to a very important document that is called Table Design Guide for the table storage and uh, to show you the different type of queries that you can run and the different performance. Uh, the first type is the most efficient query you can run is called point query. It's basically what we did before. When you search for a, an entity via the partition key and the row key, it's going to be very quick. The second best type is the range query, when you actually ask for a partition key and you filter on the row keys. And the third best, most efficient query is a partition scan. It's basically what we did. We search for a partition uh, key and then we filter on a known um, key property like uh, top scores in our cases. And we always want to avoid doing table scans um, because it's very, very, very inefficient because it's going to uh, iterate through all the entities in a, in a table. So uh, this is uh, it's very important. 
very uh, finally i want to very quickly show you what actually happened under the covers at the end of the day querying the azure table is actually doing a, an http request providing the partition key and the row key in the url or if you do the more advanced uh, query is using all data filters in order to filter the queries and the result is uh, json that contains basically the the entities that you requested and uh, this is it. This is how you can use C Sharp in order to query the table storage. Uh, thank you for watching. If you like C Sharp, you want to learn more about Azure and .NET, please subscribe to the channel.